The extensor digitorum communis primary action is finger MCP extension. You want the patient in the limb to be sitting, pronate the forearm, wrist in neutral, and the fingers slightly flexed. You want to stabilize the metacarpals and you want to resist on the dorsal proximal phalanx. If needed to palpate, you palpate the dorsum of the hand proximal to each metacarpal head. The extensor indicus proprius primary action is the index finger MCP extension. The patient in limb position is sitting, pronate the forearm, wrist in neutral, and fingers slightly flexed. Stabilize the metacarpals and you resist on the dorsal proximal phalanx. If you need to palpate, you palpate medial to the extensor digitorum tendon to the index finger. The extensor digiti minimize primary action is the fifth finger MCP extension. The patient in limb position is sitting, pronate the forearm, wrist neutral, finger slightly flexed. Stabilize the metacarpal, resist on the dorsal proximal phalanx. If you need to palpate, you palpate lateral to the extensor digitorum tendon to the little finger. The lumbrical's primary action is finger MCP flexion while maintaining IP extension. The patient and limb are sitting with the forearm in mid position. You want the MCPs to flex and the IPs to extend. Stabilize the metacarpals. Your resisting hand is on the volar surface of the proximal phalanx and the dorsal surface of the middle phalanx. It is not able to be palpated. The flexor digitorum profundus' primary action is finger DIP flexion. The patient limb in position is sitting or supine. If sitting, the forearm is supinated and supported on the table. The wrist is in neutral. You want to stabilize the proximal and middle phalanges of the test finger. Your resisting hand is on the volar aspect of the distal phalanx. If you need to palpate, you palpate the volar surface of the middle phalanx. The flexor digitorum superficialis primary action is finger PIP flexion. You want the patient and limb sitting or supine. If sitting, supinate the wrist and support on the table, the wrist in neutral. The stabilizing hand is on the proximal phalanx of the finger being tested. The resisting hand is on the volar surface of the middle phalanx. If you need to palpate, you palpate the proximal phalanx. The flexor digiti minimized primary action is little finger MCP flexion. You want the patient and limb sitting or supine. If sitting, the forearm is supinated and rested on the table, the wrist in neutral. You want to stabilize the metacarpal and resist on the volar aspect of the proximal phalanx of the little finger. If you need to palpate, you palpate the hypothenar eminence medial to the abductor digiti minimized.